The laryngeal mask airway, also referred to as an LMA, is a device used in airway management. It has a role in routine general anesthesia cases, but can also be used in emergency airway situations or in patients who are difficult to intubate with an endotracheal tube. Prepare your equipment prior to starting the procedure. Choose an appropriately sized LMA and obtain lubricant, a clean syringe, a bite block and tape. Also, as for any procedure in which you are manipulating an airway, obtain all emergency airway supplies required for intubation. Choose the appropriately sized LMA based on the patient's weight, gender and airway anatomy. Most female adults will need a size 4. Male adults can use a size 4 or a 5. For patients weighing less than 50 kilograms, the LMA size 3 is suitable. To check the cuff, inflate with 50% more air than the maximum recommended volume. Examine for leaks or failure to inflate. Proceed to deflate the cuff completely by pressing the cuff against a clean, smooth surface while simultaneously aspirating the air with a clean syringe. Lightly lubricate the posterior surface of the cuff. Water-based lubricant is a safe and effective gel and its use is recommended for LMA insertion. With the patient in a supine position, tuck the foam pillow behind the base of the head to gently extend the neck. Induction of anesthesia is initiated while the patient breathes 100% oxygen. After ensuring the patient can be successfully ventilated using a mask, you may proceed with LMA insertion. Stand at the head of the bed and scissor open the oral aperture with your right hand. Hold the LMA in the left hand using your index finger and thumb to grasp the base of the LMA tube. Orient the LMA with the bulb opening facing downward and the tip of the cuff directed toward the roof of the mouth. Advance the bulb until it makes firm contact with the hard palate. Exert firm force downward on the tube to advance the LMA along the palate. With the entire bulb and cuff inside the mouth, release the tube from your thumb. Continue to direct the LMA with your index finger. Advance the tube until the LMA rests in the hypopharynx. From a fiber optic viewpoint, you can visualize the correct location of the laryngeal mask airway in the hypopharynx, above the glottic opening. Using a clean syringe, inflate the cuff with the recommended volume of air. Do not inflate to a pressure of more than 60 centimeters of water. The LMA may rise slightly out of the hypopharynx when inflated. In situations where placing an LMA is challenging, an alternative approach can be considered. First, a stylet can be placed inside the LMA. The stylet should not extend past the bulb. Alternatively, the LMA is inserted with the bulb facing upward. Sublux the patient's jaw and scissor the mouth open. Insert the LMA with the bulb upward until the entire bulb is located in the patient's mouth. As the tube is advanced, it is simultaneously rotated 180 degrees into place in the hypopharynx. After rotation, the cuff is inflated with 40 cubic centimeters of air. After successful LMA insertion, connect the laryngeal mask airway to the breathing circuit. Provide a gentle breath with the reservoir bag, not to exceed 20 centimeters of water pressure. Confirm successful ventilation by watching for chest rise and auscultating the lungs bilaterally. Verify ventilation by checking the monitor for the presence of N-tidal carbon dioxide. After confirming effective ventilation, secure the LMA in place with tape. The tape is fixed across the patient's cheek and upper lip, wound around the LMA tube, and again fastened to the upper lip and opposite cheek. A soft bite block is made with 4x4 cotton gauze and inserted into the mouth alongside the LMA between the molar teeth. 
A common technique used to remove the laryngeal mask airway after the completion of surgery is to take the device out while the patient is emerging from general anesthesia. This is frequently referred to as a deep removal. Remove the tape from the patient's face to unsecure the tube. Unfold a 4 by 4 cotton gauze square. Scissor open the patient's mouth and gently pull out the laryngeal mask airway. Leave the cuff inflated to remove the airway secretions from the posterior pharynx. Using the 4 by 4 gauze, gently grasp the patient's tongue and hold it slightly outside of the mouth to maintain a patent airway. Continue to hold the tongue until the patient emerges from general anesthesia and can maintain his own airway and breathe spontaneously.